Do you know what else I also love? Butter. Okay, I love butter. It is ugh. welcome to Northern Michigan, like land of the butter, land of lakes and land of butter, not margarine, land of butter. Well, hello, beautiful people. Welcome back. I hope you guys are all having a beautiful, fantastic day today. And I hope that you are ready to join me in a little purchaser pass action because for today's video, we are going to be sitting down and talking about some new launches. Launches that, you know, whether I love them, whether I hate them, I just feel like we need to have a discussion. Now, of course, per usual, before we get going into the video, I just want to pause, introduce myself. For anybody that might not be new here, you might not know what's going on. Hello. Hi. My name is Paige. This is Seeking Alexandria. Welcome to the channel again. If and you are new here, um, I do put up three new videos a week, Monday, Wednesday, Friday. They usually go up right around like 7, 7.30, 8 o'clock. You know, sometimes things get a little crazy. Girls having sinus issues. And sometimes things just go up a little late. But it's usually right around 7, 7.30-ish a.m. my time here in good old northern Michigan. And then, of course, there's that little thing, you know, that little itty-bitty thing that I talk about in every video um, where if you're not following me over on Instagram, I would just greatly appreciate it if you would do that because uh, I'm trying to get to 10,000 followers and I can't really do that without y'all coming to follow me. See, see how that kind of works? So if you would be so inclined to, you know, maybe maybe go down in the description box, click the link, follow me. That would be fantastic because for me, Instagram is like my, my real life version of being online. It's where I spend all my time in the office. I do unboxings. I do, uh, I just, I feel like I do everything over there, truthfully, like whether, whether I'm walking the dog or sitting in my chair. And as of late, over on Instagram and on here, actually, in the community tab, I have been posting um, sales that have been coming about. Like I think last week or the week before we had Nordstrom. The other day there was a benefit sale. And then like when new products launched too, I, I've been talking about all that kind of stuff, which I, obviously we're talking about in today's video. Um, but just, I've been trying to keep up on it. That way you guys kind of know what's going on a little bit more. The best part about this is that all of that is just on my Insta stories. Um, and then I actually have a whole nother feed, obviously like the, the portion that you post to Instagram. And in that section, I love to do makeup reels, makeup IGTVs for application, little makeup reviews. I love to do makeup inspo photos, plus size fashion, plus size reels. And I, I kind of just love to mix it all up, keep it fun, keep it interesting. And I don't know, it's just a fun place for me to have, you know, that little extra creative of outlet hang out with you guys and as of the last couple of months y'all I have really upped my game over there I mean like learning how to use the reels you don't even know I am so impressed so proud of myself like as a 31 year old lady um I, I could not be more excited or impressed or just happy overall elated with myself I think I just said the same word three times but that's fine um I'm just I'm very excited so again if you would like to join me in this excitement and help me reach my 10k goal I would greatly appreciate it. everything is linked down below and for those of you that are wanting a progress report I think we are currently at like just over 5500 ish like right in that realm so we're over halfway which is great but like we need more so please if you haven't done so and you, and you would like to you know help me speed this process along everything will be linked down below anyways let's go ahead here and get into the first product and that would be oh my god <gasps> this one is already launched it is from melt cosmetics and these are their new sculpting stacks they have them both in powder and in cream they both retail for $48 and oh my word you people they are so beautiful like I don't know what it is about these but they look like the most creamy the most beautiful the most <clears throat> texture and I just feel like I need them okay like I feel I feel like I need them in my life like it's a spiritual thing and the only reason that I haven't purchased this yet is because because I did you know some pretty serious investigation and I know that they have swatches like on the arm you know of the the different tones and stuff but when it comes to the two lightest shades that are in the light medium stack I feel like the first shade pulls a little bit too warm and the second shade actually pulls a little bit too cool and it just made me a little apprehensive like if there was something in there that I would be able to work with or not on my skin tone and so I was kind of hesitant I you know I pulled back a little I'm waiting to see if uh, if there's other people out there that are this pasty that have used them I'd love to see application I'd love to see pigmentation and you know just get a feel for it because I know in the past I've actually purchased you know stuff like this that it may have looked a little too cool or it looked a little too dark or this or that and it's worked really beautifully on my skin tone but there was just something about the colors in these like the way that they looked on just like trend mood and stuff that I wasn't a hundred percent sure that I could like make that dive but I am still really interested and if I you know watch a couple videos I can and gain some consensus from people that are also glow in the dark I would still be very very interested um, in checking those out because I think they are so so freaking beautiful oh my god ha so beautiful all right now moving on to the next one you guys know okay I love packaging like oh my god packaging uh, but you know what else I also love butter okay I love butter it is ugh. welcome to northern Michigan like land of the butter land of lakes and land of butter not margarine land of butter I love butter okay butter is butter it is so good okay let me just 
butter's great, uh, but butter is better. I think we learned that on the commercial back in the 90s. Okay, let's just, let's just, you know, regroup ourselves. And um, Beauty Bakery, <laughs> the point here, Beauty Bakery came out with their new Butter Hydra Silk Primer, and it says that this is a lightweight hydrating stick primer that provides your skin with a smooth canvas and extends the wear of your makeup. It applies just like warm, creamy butter and leaves your skin feeling like silk, and oh my God, <laughs> doesn't that just sound luxurious? I want to smear a primer on just like butter, butter, butter. I love butter. I think that that sounds, I think that sounds so great. Oh my God, like I just, oh. Mm, yes. Hey, don't get me wrong, okay, because I'm like oily through the T-zone. Does it sound a little bit like it could be a problem? Yes, but it also sounds so luxurious, and then you sit here and you like read through it, and it says that it gives you a natural finish formula that's infused with goji berry extract. It is pore filling, and it'll minimize the appearance of pores and fine lines. It's suitable for all skin tones, goes on clear, oh my god, and I just think it would be great, and it looks like it releases October 9th on their website. So I think for me, this actually could be a primer that I pick up, you know, at some point in the future. Uh, I just, I don't think I would have run it through the t-zone like I said because I'm oily there but I think it would look beautiful like over the cheeks just to kind of help balance out even if I went in with like a little extra powder maybe a matte foundation I think it would just you know kind of help bring that more of a satin vibe and just keep my skin nice and hydrated especially going into the winter I think that that would be so freaking beautiful um so that one I'm on board for I'm not, I'm not sure if it's like a you know gotta snap it eh, maybe I maybe I should snap it I don't know oh I'm having all these conflicting feelings I, I don't know what I want um but it does look beautiful okay I'll just stop there it looks beautiful I promise probably will pick it up at some point. Um, and who knows, maybe I'll watch a couple reviews, like see see what the consensus is. Maybe there's other combo leaning oily people out there that love it, that hate it, I don't know. Uh, maybe we'll just have to, you know, get a, get a general feel for it, okay? Okay. All right, so here's one that I didn't even know existed until I was hanging out with Teresa. Um, well, I'm not like physically hanging out, okay, Corona. Um, but we were hanging out over on her live stream. I think it was her Patreon exclusive live stream. And uh, when we were over there talking about stuff, she's like, hey, have you seen this new um, collab with Shroud Cosmetics and Beauty Bean? And I was like, uh, no because it was right around my birthday. I wasn't really on the internet much. And she goes, Paige, where have you been? It's gorgeous. And oh my word, she was 100% right. You guys, this palette, ugh, it is so beautiful. I've already went on. I pre-ordered it because this color story, I just think it is so unbelievably beautiful like this teal this this lavender kind of duochrome situation and then there's this periwinkle and it's right next to this freaking like electric ass yellow shimmery situation and I think for me what I love about this palette is that it has like this level of chaos to it where it looks like theoretically you look at it and you're like Meh. then as you look at it and you just swatch it out you're like oh shit like does anybody else see this by the way if I didn't say the name of the palette and I don't think I did the name of it is it's freaking bats and I think that that is so fitting again it has that beautiful spooky kind of Halloween look and like I said before, it is currently available for pre-sale over on their website. If and you wanted to look at it, of course, everything will be linked down below. Which, by the way, I'll also have everything that I am wearing today linked down below. If you're curious, if you're like, hey, Paige, what's on your eyes? What's on your lips? That sweater, the earrings, whatever. Um, I do try to link everything down there. I try to make sure that I go through, get as much as I can for you. Which, actually, for today's look, I'm just going through and, you know, kind of working with products that you guys have already seen me test out in first impressions. Like, on the eyes, I'm wearing the Makeup by Mario, the uh, matte palette, and the metallic palette, which I'll link my Makeup by Mario video right up there if you haven't seen it there's swatches in the whole bit but that's what's on the eyes and then for complexion I'm actually wearing the bite beauty change maker foundation and I'll link that video up here uh, I think that's actually the last video you guys have watched and it's just you know the whole system just me playing around with it a little bit more um, and then also on the lips I'm wearing some bite beauty and there's also a couple of items that I'm wearing that I haven't really given my review on yet like the Marc Jacobs brow wow duo and the um, this is the Wayne Goss um, blush duo this is in vivid azalea so it's the really really bright one and those are a couple of things that I'm still working with. I'll let you guys know my thoughts, obviously, when we get to that point in a video. Just in case you are ever curious, maybe you don't know, all of this, uh, like I said, it will be linked down below if in you are curious. Anyways, moving into the next Halloween-y situation here, this one can be wrapped up real right quick and fast here. This is the Makeup Revolution and Nightmare Before Christmas collab, and you guys, I don't honestly think, okay, I, I just, I truly don't believe that I could give one less of a shit about, about this collection. I honestly don't know what it is about this that I don't like. I like, I just can't put my finger on it, but when I I look at the colors, I look at the palettes, I just feel like it looks so cheap. It, the colors look muted. I do get with Nightmare Before Christmas, like it is, you know, more of a gray toned, kind of spooky esque film, but the colors in this, to me, it just looks like somebody puked up like muted color confetti all over these palettes. And those are the colors that just stuck. And the, I don't know, there's just something about it. I don't like it. And I, I get that a lot of people will buy it, they'll love it for the packaging, and that's great. But for me, there is not one thing, one, one little eek about this entire collection that I think looks even remotely. Uh, good and uh, then that those are my thoughts on that pretty pretty uh, right quick simple don't like it pass
pass. All right, so here's one. I want to know uh, if any of you guys have tried it because I'll, I'll be honest, I'm a little afraid. Um, this is new from Nabla Cosmetics, and this is their new Viper Lip Plumper. And I am very, <laughs> very afraid when something says like, oh yeah, we're gonna plump and it's gonna amp up the ellipse. I'm like, is it gonna hurt, girl? Like, what, what's really gonna happen here? Because I have tried some in the past. Not gonna name any names. Their Too Faced Lip Injection, absolute hell. Oh my God, burns. Um, I'm not. I'm not gonna name names. Okay, I wouldn't want to be rude. But like, I've tried some and they hurt. Don't get me wrong, okay? I'm all about like that little burn, like that little, that little extra little pout that you get there. I'm all about that. But like when it says Viper Lip Plumper, I'm kind of like, mm, I feel like a Viper Sting, like a, like a snake. I feel like that would hurt. And I'm not really all about the pain part. Like I just want a little, but I don't need the pain. Um, so I'm a little bit, I'm a little bit uh, apprehensive about it to say the least. And then I go down in the description box and I'm starting to feel a little bit better, right? Like it says, you know, it's gonna um, amp up your lips volume. It's gonna make them look naturally flushed. You know, you're not gonna add any color. Color. They're just gonna look a little more pouty and have that rosy tinge and oh my god That's gonna be great, right? Like okay I'm, I'm here for that But then on the next little bullet point it says that these give an immediate and long-term effect to your lips So then what what kind of long-term are we talking about? What if one side deflates faster than the other? Is that how lip plumper work? Is that how filler works? I don't know but I can tell you <laughs> that I don't want my lips to be any more crooked than they already are And what if that pain comes in and it hurts and it stays there forever? I just I, I don't know I just feel like for me I'm such a worry war and I'm that person that's like eh, oh, eh because I'm a Libra, right? I just, I balance everything until, you know, I die. So really what I want to know is, uh, have any of you tried this? Do you know anybody that has? What do you think? General consensus, any thoughts, opinions, leave them in the comments, please. Because it says that it's been clinically tested by medical staff for an immediate volume effect for up to two hours. And the reality is, yeah, you might have had it tested by a clinical medical staff, but did you have it, you know, clinically tested by a Libra who is wishy-washy, um, literally from the origin of her birth, okay? Because that, that's really the question that I need answered, okay? Because I, I just, I need these things um, known. So uh, get Get, get back to me on that one because I don't know. I'm kind of on the fence. It looks awesome and I'm all about that nice little bouquet, but like not a bouquet. I'm just, I draw the line, okay? I draw the line at all the pain, okay? So I don't, I don't really want that. All right, so here's the new Make It Big Mascara by Morphe and it retails for $12 and it looks like, oh, it looks like it actually either launched, oh, it la actually already launched. Okay, cool, Um, on October 6th. And I am very, very intrigued by this mascara. I actually think I will pick it up because that brush, you guys, who that is my favorite kind of brush. It looks like it's a little thick. It has lots of bristles and it's really going to do a good job at like combing through your lashes getting them all coated and giving them that nice definition but also like a little bit of lift a little bit of extra volume in there so for me this one i am definitely going to try again it looks really really beautiful and i love the look of that brush don't get me wrong of course the brush can be great the formula can be absolute crap and we will figure that out in due time trust me but uh, from here from what i'm seeing i love the packaging i love the wand and for 12 bucks like hell yes hell yes i will give that a try okay because it looks so damn pretty love that i love me a good wand. Yes, I love a good wand. Just like Harry Potter. Swish and flick. Bow. Oh my god, Paige. <laughs> how many, how many, how many years have you been on cold meds? <sighs> all right, you guys, now it's time. Let's just talk about it. Let's talk about um, all the questions that I received regarding the Hocus Pocus ColourPop collection, okay? Because I'm just, I'm gonna set my phone down because it's safer over there. Um, this collection, this launch, oh my god, what an actual shit show this was. Because I, I was one of the, I'll, I'll just, you know, tell you guys full disclosure here. I was one of the thousands of people that were waiting online when it was launched like click click refresh waiting click click refresh um trying to do work but also like trying to stalk this website like mm, out of the purview like mm. not only was i that person you know the person like trying to get work done but also like trying to stalk this website trying to do all the things um trying to like keep up with my life meanwhile putting it on hold simultaneously all for this stupid palette collection um but i was the person that did all of these things um to the tune of like two ish three ish hours whatever it was only for ColourPop to finally emerge from the little room they've been hiding in and say oh hey guys sorry we can't fix it but we're gonna launch it tomorrow and oh my word okay i was so instantly irritated it wasn't even just irritated for me because you know like i said it is a launch i wanted it but like i was trying to do other stuff i, I was still trying to move on with my life but i i felt so irritated for the people that like what if you're trying to take a break from work? What if you're trying to take a break from school? What if you're on lunch? What if you like woke, set an alarm and you're like you're working nights or whatever and you know you set an alarm to get up for this launch? Like there are people that actually inconvenience themselves <laughs> to make sure that they can you know purchase from you and be in line to get these things. And I just felt like it was so dismissive to be like, oh hey, sorry about that, but like you know we're gonna do it tomorrow. Not everybody has that option to do it the next day. Like they already spent that time once and you you blew it for them. Like, th that's over. And I, and I get that, you know, mistakes happen. I get that shit goes wrong, whatever. I understand that, and I'm not naive to that. I know other launches have happened um, where things like this also happen, and that's not crazy. That's not, um, this isn't, like, a new thing. But for me, 
I just feel like as a whole, whether it's ColourPop or anybody else, the way that this needs to be handled is that, hey, um, A, we know this is going to be a big launch. I want to do a test run. I want to max the system and see what it'll do. Like that should be done up front all the time, continuously anyways. I feel like it should go even farther than that. And maybe this is just a me thing. I don't know. Like I, I just, I always try to look at things from both sides and I can see, you know, like I said, that from their side, you know, it hits the system, this, that, the other, and I get that. But from the flip side of it, I think that there should be more done and put in place to safe guard the customers and say, hey, we as a company, um, we respect our customers. We respect their time. We respect their patience. And we don't want them to have to wait. So after 15 minutes, we call it. After 15 minutes, if we can't get our shit straight like it's done, we're not doing the launch. Because I just feel like you have people, and this happens This happens fairly often. Again, it wasn't just them. It happened um, with uh, uh, Pure and Raw Beauty Christie. That, that was a nightmare. It happened with the uh, Jeffree Star Shane Dawson collab. And it's happened with other collabs throughout, like, you know, throughout the last couple of years. This isn't a new thing. But I I feel like there has to be a better way to handle stuff like this. Just setting a standard that says, look, if we can't straighten it out in X amount of minutes or X amount of time, we're going to call it. It's done. We're not doing it. Because I really do just feel like there has to be a way to say, like, your time matters to us. Your time, your patience, your this, your that, it matters. And we can't do this right now. And we still want to make it fair for everybody. And we appreciate you waiting, but we're not going to make you wait for two hours. I think for me, that was the main thing. Like, taking the collection out of it, I just wish that there would that there would be more of an emphasis going forward from brands in that direction. Um, I think that it would be something that would be a really positive change, something that would speak a lot to consumers because it can't always be about cranking out the launch, making the money, making the money, making the money, because at some point you have to turn around and say like, hey, these are people. They're not just dollar signs. They are actual people with actual lives and we are holding up their lives. You know, we, we need to make decisions that are more accurate, that are better, that are just overall more concise. And uh, I think that it would just be a show of good faith to do that. Anyways, those are kind of my thoughts on that. You know, not, not the shortened version. Um, I I think the palette is really pretty. I actually had that in my cart over on Ulta when it launched. I, I removed it because I don't need it. Um, and you know, just for me, like overall, the, the allure of it was the collection. And once that taste was in my mouth, I was kind of like, eh, you know, I, I don't have to have it, but I do like the packaging. I do wish though that when it came to the lipsticks, I will say, um, I wish that they would have went with three different colors. And that's actually something that uh, I think it was Manny said in his review. He did a review of this a uh, few days ago. And I, I do, I do agree with him. I wish that they would have come out with three different shades of lipstick that weren't all red toned because I think you could have done one that was a little lighter, one that was a real deep red, and then maybe one that was like a burgundy red, burgundy purple, something like that. Uh, because, you know, obviously I get that they all wear a red lip, so I, I understand where they were going with it, like trying to just come up with three different reds, but I think it would have just added a little bit more diversification to the launch as a whole. But uh, again, other than that, those are just kind of my thoughts, opinions, and uh, with that, I'm stepping off my soapbox and moving on. All right, so here's one that I am going to briefly touch on. This is a new launch from House Labs, which of course, um, for those of you that don't know, this is Lady Gaga's brand. And she recently launched her blush, bronzer, and highlight duo. And I think for me, what I would actually do with this launch is uh, at some point, I probably will pick up like one blush duo, one bronzer duo, and I'll probably pick those up when I'm going to do like a testing House Labs video. Because at this point, I actually have, um, I want to say a fair amount of items from them, like the, the eyeliners, the lip products, the, uh, the creamy lip pencil things. And I haven't really played around with them much. And I know I haven't talked about them on camera, I don't think at all. Um, just because for me, from the beginning, like House Labs, it was it was kind of a rocky start. Um, I was ordering packages, I wasn't receiving them, they came in super late, and they just made it really, really difficult for me to ever, and I mean ever, plan my videos, plan my content. And so, you know, for me, again, at some point, I think I'll probably just do testing House Labs, like, as a video, but I don't think it's something that I would, like, run out and purchase right now. Like, I don't, I don't think that I, like, super need it that bad. Now, moving away from that into something I am so so excited about and that would be um, the new shades of the Dior Backstage Glow Face Palettes and these are so freaking beautiful. I have the original. I love it so much. I wear it all the time. It is one of my all-time favorite highlighters. If you want like that beautiful, glowy, blindy, workable, super smooth textured highlights, oh my god, it is it is perfection. I think these are so beautiful. Moral of the story is I love the formula. I have the original palette. It's gorgeous and out of these I actually did already pick up the rose gold and the yellow gold because I love them. Again, I love the vibrancy and I'm very, very intrigued to see um, how these show up like on my skin, if they cast weird or if I'm able to just get like that nice little light little lilty moment, especially on like a super matchy day. Like this is what I had envisioned. If I wanted like a bright cheek with like a bright eye or maybe even like a like a, any sort of a pink or burgundy toned eye even 
and then just to have like that nice little wash of a pink highlight just uh, I think it would be so beautiful especially in this formula I love it so much anyways moral of the story um, I absolutely unequivocally love those I bought two of them I am so excited uh, and I would have bought the third one if I thought it would have worked for my skin tone but we all know just look at me <gasps> look at me okay I am glow in the dark pasty ass white and nothing uh, that color will work on me but you know I would have bought it anyways because I just think it is so beautiful oh, so good and here's another one actually this one is from Natasha Denona and this is her new holiday 2020 collection and it includes a highlighter in the shade I need a nude glow and it says that's going to retail for $42 and it is a multi-dimensional metallic highlighting powder with a soft focus HD finish and a velvety smooth texture in a universal champagne tone it is lightweight long wearing and a formula that leaves the skin radiant and glowing all day in a tan palette Ooh, honey child uh, I tell you what they make that sound damn beautiful and along with that they are launching two lipstick shades as well these are the um additions to the I need a nude lipstick collection they will be $25 a piece and both of those look freaking gorgeous oh my god I don't know what it is about this whole collection but I'm like living for it and looking at these this might actually be like a situation where um not only do I buy it but I might also like link it um over on my Instagram and here in the community tab when it launches because I kind of think it's beautiful and I think it's going to be something a lot of people uh, might be interested in Ooh, what do you guys think general consensus on this yes no thoughts opinions because I think it looks kind of gorgeous Ooh. all right so next up is one that I actually think is beautiful these are the kimchi blushes and they're going to retail for $15 a piece and available in six shades and launching on Octo oh, October 8th shit that's like right around when you guys are going to be watching this but I think in terms of me picking these up I would actually choose to wait until they uh, they restock the highlighter that they just launched as well like I think they launched it two or three weeks ago because that one launched and you guys it sold out so unbelievably fast on their website and I wanted it <laughs> so badly um so uh, I think I think what I would do is like, probably wait a while because th these will probably sell out as well and at some point they're gonna have both in stock and I'll pick up you know the highlight that I want the blush that I want and that way I can you know test them out have both formulas but uh, as far as presentation packaging all of that I even think you know for 15 bucks it's not an awful price point and obviously don't quote me on that because I don't know what you're getting for 15 bucks but just overall like the, the look of it I think looks nice and uh, the, the packaging is absolutely adorable and I'm not gonna lie okay am I still just a little bit bitter that I didn't get the highlight that I wanted yes uh, but we're, we're working on that together okay we're working by, by together I mean me in my mind with my own thoughts um, but we're, we're working through it and we're trying and uh, at some point we will try this and that and we'll you know we'll, we'll kind of see what the thoughts are we'll see we'll see what we think about them why why did I just feel the need to sing that I don't know why do I feel the need to sing everything I don't know I don't know. You know what, you guys? I think that that's it. I think we've touched on enough stuff. We went through enough feelings, enough emotions on all the topics. But don't forget to let me know all of your guys' thoughts down in the comments, whether it is on um, new launches I talked about, new launches I didn't talk about, things you think I should check out, things that you tried. Do you like them? Do you not? Um, just give me all of your guys' thoughts, opinions, your feedback. Do you like these videos? Um, like, well, what are you, what are you guys feeling? Kind of what, what? Give me, give me, give me, give me, <laughs> give me some of this. Um, give me some of this. <laughs> <laughs> maybe maybe do maybe don't I don't know I guess it depends on what that looks like because I'm makes me a little apprehensive but anyways from here you guys know the drill like I said at the start you can subscribe turn on your post notifications follow me on Instagram um again I said all of this but everything will be linked down below and then if there's anything that I talked about in this video um that has launched that you know I can link for you I'll do that as well if you want to shop it check it out um I'll, I'll just make sure that I have as much linked down below as I can but with that beautiful fantastic people of the internet I thank you all so so much for watching please don't forget to have an amazing day night weekend whatever it is when you're watching this and I'll see you in the next Next one. Bye. Why do we look so crackly today? Why do we look so crackly today? <sighs> All right, you guys. So, <laughs> which one of you is going to be uh, kind enough to tell me this entire time that there was lipstick on my Invisalign? And I'm not talking like up here, like oh, on a tooth. I mean the entire underside okay there's just lipstick just like mm, like I, like I bit my lip like I bit into a freaking lipstick uh not a good look it's not when 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 are you gonna hook a girl up when were you gonna give me the knowledge that uh that I was looking crazy maybe you couldn't tell hey maybe Paige how often do you look at the camera like that hi guys well now twice <laughs> now now you've done it twice good job